Hey, hey, beautiful people. Welcome to Keande's House of Music. Yes, I'm Keande, and I want you to come on in and make yourself at home because today I have something very special to share with you, and that is A Lifetime of Love with Frankie Beverly. Yes. So if you're here for that today, if you enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button, all right? So let's get right into it. First of all, are you guys taking care of yourselves and each other? Yes? All right. So, this morning, when I opened my eyes, the first thing that I heard about, the first thing that I saw was the passing of singer, songwriter, producer, musician, Mr. Frankie Beverly. He passed away at 77 years old, and it took my breath away. I love Frankie Beverly. I have a long time love affair with his music, going back to when I was a little kid, just enjoying the sounds, enjoying just the feel of the music as the rest of the community did. But I have deep admiration for him. And to hear that he had passed just did something to my soul. And I am saddened by it. But I'm also grateful for the music that he left with us and the times he got to share with us throughout the years. He was a phenomenal, phenomenal talent. Of course, he was the leader and founder of Maze featuring Frankie Beverly. Of course, we call it Frankie Beverly and Maze. But either way, he was an enormous talent. The music, the music he delivered, that he wrote, that he produced, it was so warm. It was magical. It was uh, personable. It was joyful. It was full of love and peace and togetherness and oneness. All those things that he put into each album that they did together. And it was just magical. I can't think of any other word that describes what they meant to me, uh, what they meant to the world. Um, something truly special. You know, we have those artists that are put here for a while that just kind of shift our hearts, right? and shift our focus to something positive, to something that's greater than ourselves, that focuses us on light. And the music of Maze featuring Frankie Beverly did just that. And Frankie, Frankie was a dynamic performer, dynamic writer, beautiful singer, and just a treasure. He made you feel loved. He made you feel loved. Now, Another way he did this was through the concerts. If you've ever gone to a, a Frankie Beverly and Mays concert, first of all, the expectation is that you wear all white. You know, that was the thing. Also, but when you left, when you left the show, everybody was smiling. Um, the show, like, gave you a big hug. Um, you just felt good. You wanted to give the world a big hug. And uh, you just went home thinking that everything was gonna be all right. And that was the magic. That was the magic of the albums, that was the magic of their live performance. And, and Frankie Beverly at the lead just embodied all of that. He brought the audience into the songs with him and uh, we just had a wonderful, wonderful time. Those 90 minutes that we shared together and I'm so glad I got to see him, them, um, a few times in my lifetime. But it was just, it was just incredible. Um, I never got to be, meet Frankie Beverly, but I've heard wonderful stories about him, about just the person that he that he is, the person that he was, um, that he was warm and giving as his music um, uh, displayed. Um, but I know he had a heart of gold. I know he had a heart of gold. He was supportive of a lot of different artists, um, particularly a few uh, female vocalists um, that he supported at the beginning of their career. I'm um, starting with Anita Baker. Um, with her very first solo album in 1983, he chose her to be his opening act for that particular tour. And he did that with two other female singers as well, Regina Bell on her um, debut album, and also Toni Braxton on her debut album. He liked a certain kind of female vocalist, and he helped support them and give them an audience and give them more exposure. So that shows the kind of person that he was and how he respected other uh, uh, people's artistry. So that's that right there just says a lot about who he is. And um, people will never forget him. We'll never forget the music. Um, the music will always be there for us. And um, again, I am so grateful for it. Now, so many albums, uh, so many songs, 
Every album was a gold seller. Incredible. Love that. Even in that, I still don't think Frankie Beverly and Mays got their got what they deserved. They didn't get enough flowers. Um, and even with that, though, they were still so loved and respected and appreciated. Um, and I know, I know Frankie felt that. I know the band felt that um, because whatever rele he released, we just grabbed it. And whenever we saw him, we just held him tight. That was to the very end. I know he was on currently on a farewell farewell tour, um, which is, makes it kind of bittersweet. But a lot of people got to see him during his final days, got to share love with him, got to talk with him, got to take pictures with him and post certain things. And um, that's a beautiful, beautiful experience. But as far as the songs go, I love so many, but my favorite, my favorite is I Want to Thank You. I Want to Thank You does it for me. And I want to thank you, Frankie Beverly, for shining your light on the world, giving us hope, sharing your peace, filling us with joy, filling us with love, and showing us that there is a brighter day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And having said that, I want to say a peaceful journey to you, and uh, you will never be forgotten. Your music will live on, your legacy will live on, and we will continue to move and groove to your songs. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so thank you. Mr. Frankie Beverly. All right, so that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to continue to listen to Frankie Beverly and Mays, jam to the music, remember the good times, remember all the things that he made you feel, and just to let the legacy live on, all right? Awesome. So if you like this video, excuse me, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And always remember that when you come to this channel, it's all about music. It's all about love. So what we're going to do, keep that music playing and keep that love flowing. All right? Thank you. Have a good night, good day, good week. And uh, until we meet each other again, you guys be safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. Much love. Peace.